Good morning, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, morning headlines on July 26, 2023. Sea temperature off Florida reaches 38 C, potentially a world record. Sky News, water at tip of Florida hits hot tub level, may have set world record for warmest seawater. The Independent, Florida ocean temperatures peaked to almost 38 degrees amid heat wave, you can't cool off. The Mirror, Florida water temperatures could break Kuwait record. Obama's pay tribute to, beloved, personal chef Tafari Campbell who drowned in Martha's Vineyard. The Independent, Obama's chef Tafari Campbell dies in paddleboarding accident. BBC, Barack Obama's personal chef drowns in pond near the family's Massachusetts home. Sky News, grieving Obamas were in Martha's Vineyard when chef drowned at their home. Call for refugee visas to tackle Channel's small boat crossings. Biden's dog commander bit seven people at the White House after Major was expelled. The Independent, Biden's dog attacked Secret Service personnel ten times in four months. The Telegraph, Joe Biden's dog bites Secret Service men. The Times, Biden's dog commander has bitten Secret Service offices 10 times in four months, records show. Putin looked paralyzed and unable to act as Wagner coup unfolded. The Independent, Putin failed to act to prevent Prigozhin's Wagner coup despite warning by Russian spies. The Telegraph, Putin appeared paralyzed in first hours of Wagner mutiny, Washington Post. The Moscow Times, traitors can be useful, Putin decides. Center for European Policy Analysis, Putin appeared paralyzed and unable to act in first hours of rebellion. Russian jet damaged U.S. drone with flares in Syria, says U.S. BBC, U.S. says Russian aircraft struck its drone with flare over Syria. Al Jazeera English, Russian fighter jet damages U.S. drone with flares over Syria. The Independent, Russian fighter jets fire at U.S. Reaper drone while flying over Syria. Carly Russell's attorney expects her to be charged over fake disappearance. The Independent, Carly Russell, woman whose kidnapping sparked nationwide search admits she wasn't abducted. Sky News, Carly Russell, kidnap was hoax, Alabama student admits after two-day hunt. The Times, Carly Russell's lawyer predicts charges as ex-boyfriend slams, disgusting, kidnap hoax story. The Independent, Carly Russell issues apology for lying about kidnapping and seeing a toddler. Singapore to execute a woman for first time in almost 20 years. The Guardian, Singapore to execute first woman in almost 20 years. The Times, Amnesty International calls for urgent stay of two imminent executions in Singapore. The Independent, Singapore, stop two imminent and unlawful executions for drug trafficking. Amnesty International, for first time in 20 years, death penalty for woman in Singapore. Travis King, how the U.S. negotiates with North Korea. BBC, Travis King, U.S. say North Korea will want a price to return a wall soldier. The Independent, UN command in conversation with North Korea over runaway U.S. soldier. France 24 English, North Korea silent about U.S. soldier in its custody. Ron DeSantis campaign fires staffer over Nazi meme as animal blamed for motorcade crash, live. The Independent, U.S. presidential hopeful Ron DeSantis involved in car crash. Sky News, Ron DeSantis, Florida governor unhurt after car accident in Tennessee. BBC, Ron DeSantis escapes unhurt from car crash on the campaign trail. The Times, four cars in Ron DeSantis motorcade crash into each other on way to fundraisers. Mexican security forces were complicit in kidnapping of 43 student teachers, report reveals. The Guardian, report questions Mexican military's role in disappearance of 43 students. Hampstead Highgate Express, Mexican armed forces facilitated Ayatzanapa disappearances, panel. Al Jazeera English, international investigation into Mexico's 43 missing students ends. The New York Times, students missing in Mexico, last report released. Six guilty of murder over 2016 Brussels airport and train attack that killed 32 people. Sky News, Brussels bombers found guilty after long murder trial. BBC, six found guilty of murder linked to terrorism at Brussels 2016 attack trial. The Telegraph, six men guilty of murder over Brussels terrorist attacks in 2016. 
The Guardian, six men guilty of murder over Brussels terror attacks that killed 32 people. Trevor Reed, ex-US Marine freed by Russia is injured fighting in Ukraine. BBC, ex-US Marine, once imprisoned in Russia, injured fighting for Ukraine. France 24 English, Trevor Reed, US Marine freed from Russian prison, injured fighting in Ukraine. The Independent, Marine veteran freed by Russia in prisoner swap injured fighting in Ukraine, U.S. Hampstead Highgate Express, former U.S. Marine, who was released from Russian prison, injured fighting for Ukraine. Former nurse suing hospital in Australia after witnessing patients face catch fire during operation. Sky News, patients face catches fire during surgery leaving her with charred black skin and now a traumatized nurse eye. Daily Mail, nurse recounts distressing moment elderly woman's face caught fire while conscious during surgery. New York Post, screaming, patient's routine surgery hell. Fight for Israel's future in balance after a win for Netanyahu coalition. The Guardian, what's next for Israel after Netanyahu's judicial overhaul bill? Al Jazeera English, Israel's reasonableness law passed amidst unprecedented protests. Knesset's shocking 64-0 vote. WION, in Israel, a glimpse of a Trumpian future. The New Yorker, the Irish Times view on protests in Israel, the shape of the country's democracy is at stake, the Irish Times. Brothers who drowned in dangerous ocean current are found hugging on the seafloor. Iran protests, defiant hashtag Masa Amini protesters push back against strengthened morality police's hijab patrols. Sky News, Iranian woman defying hijab law says there's no turning back despite morality police resuming patrols. ABC News, there's no other option but to fight, Iranian women defiant as, morality police, return. The Guardian, Iranian parliament member criticizes revival of morality police. Ukraine war, UK criticized for lack of understanding of Wagner's activities in Africa. BBC, UK in action let Wagner Group flourish and grow, say MPs. The Guardian, UK government complacent in countering growing risk from Wagner Group. Sky News, ministers failing to grapple with Wagner Group threat, MPs warn. The Independent, UK government taken to task for underplaying Wagner's activities. Greece fires, UK changes travel advice for roads and Corfu. The Independent, Greece fires, Two pilots die after firefighting plane crashes. BBC, Greece fires, satellite images and maps show extent of damage. BBC, the world is burning, stop pretending everything is fine. The Telegraph, should I still go on holiday to Rhodes in two weeks? This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.